Today is the day I am so excited to see you at the altar and spend the rest of my life with you. I'll see you soon. Love, Mrs. Marr.
You get the last words. I don't think so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how long if we don't talk, if no, we, we talk, go, we always gonna be my brothers. brothers. That's it. I I always love you. Cheers. cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. It's good to see you happier than since you've been with Caroline. Mm -hmm. And when you guys met through the pandemic, I knew it was something real because whenever you get into that relationship that you lose yourself in and you, you, you start, well, I'm not going to hang out with my boys because I want to hang out yeah. with you. That's, that's, some, that's some real deep love shit, bro. And I apologize. No more talking crap. That's, 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 that's nothing to apologize for. Now you can appreciate it. That's right. And just, you know, I'm super happy for you, bro. I really am. Like, yeah. Just like last night when we were talking, I was just, I'm static for you. And I know that's genuine from I'm super, company, super happy, so bro. Yeah. I'm a clown. No, you are a good man, bro. Hey Caroline, I was seeing you this morning and, and I woke up literally smiling and just knowing that at the end of this day, you and I would be together, united. Um, from early on in our relationship, I was certain that you were the girl for me. My mother was sure you were the girl for me. When I met your family, I never knew that it was gonna be so important. I've talked to you about this before, that, that your family, I love them so much and they love me and it's so great to be a part of a bigger village. I can't wait to have this life with you and explore where we're going. I love you so much, baby. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now
sun don't shine Give me your strength and show me your weakness Cause we're in this together now You and me together now Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her brother and I Very well Thank you, Grant Beautiful. Well, Christopher and Caroline would like to welcome all of you. This exciting, exciting uh, moment in their lives. And we would love to start with praying over them. So if you join me in prayer. God, we thank you for what you're doing here today. We ask your blessing on this, this marriage of this man and this woman as they come together as husband and wife to form a new family. We ask you to turn their house into a home filled with love and laughter and where their communities will know you because of the example that they have seen in them as they create memories that will last a lifetime. We believe that you have given them each other and we ask you to give them the patience that they'll need when they're tired, a shoulder to cry on when they're hurting, arms to hold them when they're discouraged and words of encouragement when their hearts are troubled. We ask your blessing on this new marriage that it will become all that you want it to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You guys may be seated. <laughs> I promise they're excited. <laughs> we can serve some tissues at these weddings, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Hey, outside of marriage, uh, outside of salvation, marriage is the most wonderful relationship that we can experience. When you cross paths with that person who is uniquely created for you, it just feels right. It's like breathing. It's natural. It's like it's always been there. And that's the way marriage was intended to be. Two people dancing in sync with each other as they go through life. You know, but sin enters the world and made this much more difficult. Instead of being a dance, it can turn into a duel between two people fighting for power and position. But God gives us a picture of marriage through his relationship with his church, and he calls the bride of Christ. Although we fall short, God reveals himself in two distinct ways. One is forgiveness, and one is faithfulness. In a day and age when marriages aren't making it how can one person stand in front of another and promise to be faithful it is only through the example god has given us as one who is faithful and true even when we are not faithful he is faithful in us throughout every marriage forgiveness is not a luxury but a necessity it is through God's forgiveness in our lives that we can forgive our spouse when it is required. And God's word tells us that a three chord strand cannot easily be broken. There are so many marriages falling apart these days because they do not include God as an essential strand in their relationship. But this is not the case for Chris and Caroline. Their marriage will be something different. It'll be something special because they have that third strand they have an influence of God's love, God's faithfulness, and God's forgiveness in their lives and in their marriage. You know, when God created Adam, he placed him in the garden, and, God, and Adam had it good. He's got a great job. He gets to walk with God every day. But God knew something was missing in Adam's life. And so God created for him a helper, not to get things done, but to draw out of Adam his greatest potential. Just like when he looked down and he saw Chris and how it was not good for him to be alone. <laughs> and so he created for him a helper. And he saw Caroline and he knew it was not good for her to be alone. And so he created for her a helper. Not to get things done, but to draw out her greatest 
potential. You see, each of you has strengths and weaknesses, and when added together, can form a powerful team. When you work together, I truly believe nothing in this world can stop you. And you will remain a team as long as you serve one another. But strengths have drawbacks. And when you selfishly, they can turn a team sport into an individual one. And that is my encouragement to you both. To unselfishly serve one another, expecting nothing in return. Just as it says in Philippians 2, 3, and 4. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interest of the other. To put all your hopes and all your dreams and all your desires above your own. Now, every wedding, two people stand before family and friends and they make a vow to honor and to cherish one another during good times and bad. But vows are not something that you just say on this day. It is something you fight for every single day moving forward. Now, I, wanted, I know you wanted to share your own vows. Mm -hmm. And so, Caroline, would you like to yes. go first? <laughs> Chris, I can't believe this day is actually here. All of our heartaches and triumphs in our lives have brought us to this exact moment. I am so honored you chose me to be your wife. Forever. <laughs> I've prayed since I can remember for God to bless me with a husband, to love me as much as I love them, and he did that with you. You truly match me. I knew I loved you very early on into our relationship, but this one moment stands out to me. It was the moment that I knew you were the one. <clears throat> I'm not sure that you know about this moment, but I was at my grandma's house and my mom told me that you were outside catching lightning bugs <laughs> with <laughs> Sam and Annabelle. And they told me to go look at you and I went to look and it was like right then I could envision what kind of father you're gonna be and what kind of husband you're gonna be. And that is so special to me, Chris. So as I stand here today in front of our family and friends and in front of God, I want you to know how honored and blessed I am to be here with you. You are my home, Chris. With you, I am secure, safe, and loved. <laughs> There's never a day that goes by. <laughs> There's never a day that goes by where you do not tell me how much you love me or that I'm beautiful. And so for that, I'm very thankful. Thankful for every moment with you, high and low, and future moments to come. That you come home every day in a good mood. That I finally have someone who will try my cooking and compliment it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are dumb. <laughs> it's good food. I'm thankful that you are the most generous, loving, compassionate, intellectual, funny, and handsome man that I've ever met. You're my best friend. The only person I want to spend all night making up songs to and dancing in the kitchen with. <laughs> You're the one who I call when something great happens and when something bad happens. You're the one who makes me laugh all day and all night. And most importantly, you remind me who I am in your eyes and who I am in God's eyes. From this day forward, I vow to be that person to you. I vow to love you every day when life is easy and when life is hard. To take care of you when you're sick. To never go to bed angry. To encourage you when you feel discouraged. To support your dreams when no one else will. To hold you when the world is dragging you down. And to continue to pray daily and lift you up and remind you who God called you to be and what kind of man you are. I promise you will never be alone, that I will always be with you, unless you're playing 2K with the guys or snoring really loud. <laughs> 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 Lastly, I vow to always give you my best and conti to continue to work on myself to give you and our future family the best life and to remember you are my one true love. I pray from this day forward, we put God first in our marriage, that we call to the Lord for guidance in everything we do. 
we do that, I know we won't fail. And I can say without a doubt, you are my best friend, my love, my best teammate, my soulmate, my better half. I love you so much. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Sorry, baby. We should. We should. We should clap for that. <laughs> All right. That was. I know. I know. So I was going to start with anybody who knows me knows I talk a lot, but. <laughs> Caroline, since you've become a part of my life, almost instantly my world became brighter. You used to talk about a black cloud that used to follow you. But when we're together, not even tornado warnings can block the sun. I will never forget early into our relationship the care you had for me. You remember that text I sent to my manager? Yeah. That was very direct. Not a second after I sent you a copy of what I sent, did you call me back? saying, what are you thinking, you idiot? <laughs> and this is like, like a month into us dating, and I've never had anybody care for me or about me in that way outside of my mother. At that point, I knew that I needed to have you in my life. And you remember that injury that I had that you weren't supposed to tell nobody about? <laughs> and everybody knows about it because how funny it was. You were there for me then too. No, most people wouldn't be, and you know that. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> but you were, because you're the most caring person that I know. You would never leave anybody in that situation like that. All right? Oh. You're the most important person to me. You're the greatest person to me. I look up to you, even though you're younger than me, in a lot of ways. When you talk about your family and the way that you talk about God are the only things that make you light up, nothing else. And I'm so happy to be a part of that family and I hope when you mention my name forever that it brings you joy and it brings happiness. There's a back sign. <laughs> I remember my mom asking me about you after one of our first dates. Me and my dad were cooking his famous chili. And she decided to video it she showed me that video a couple of months ago, and I was kind of in awe because I don't think I've ever seen a video of me that happy. And I was extremely happy, just explaining the lovely woman that I had met, the beautiful woman that I had met. My mom also told me when I was much younger that a child is like a pearl. It's very precious, and you don't want anything in the world to blemish it. I never knew that I was gonna feel like that when I met you but I do, and I always want to protect you. Okay? So I promise to protect, to console you, to always listen to you, to never let you go to bed sleeping or go let you go to bed tired. <laughs> let you, <laughs> let you, I'll let you go to bed, <laughs> but not let you go to bed angry. <laughs> All right, I'll cherish you forever. You're my best friend, my therapist, like it or not. You're always right. <laughs> I had more, but I just kind of, you know, my reading skills. Thank you. Don't need the pocket lint, but <laughs> I'll take every bit of it. <laughs> Uh, Chris and Caroline were now exchanged rings, a visible sign of two joining as one. And so, Chris, would you yes, take her ring? I will. Place it on her left finger. This one over here. Oh, I'm sorry. She's helping you out, man. All right, would you repeat after me? Yes, sir. With this ring? With this ring. I pledge my love and devotion. I pledge my love and devotion. To you as your husband. To you as your husband. And promise to nurture that love. And promise to nurture that love. Each day of our life. Every day of our life. Each day of our life. Would you place that on Chris's finger? Thank you. 
All right, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I pledge my love and devotion. I pledge my love and devotion to you as your wife. To you as your wife. And promise to nurture that love. And I promise to nurture that love each day of our lives. Each day of our lives. Very good. Chris and Caroline would like to take this part of the ceremony to celebrate communion and remember what Jesus did for them personally so they can remember the grace God has given them. It is that same grace that they will need to show to each other as they grow from two individuals into one family. The bread represents Christ's body that was laid down for you and for me. And the punishment for sin is death and Jesus paid that price which is represented in the juice. Yes, I'll make your way over here. This represents his body, broken for you. You can take it. Go ahead. <laughs> and this represents his blood that was shed for you. And there'll be times in your lives when you're struggling, when you're imperfect. It's the first time being a husband. First time being a wife. We talked about version ones and version twos. Yes. As you guys grow, remember God's grace. Give it to yourself, give it to each other. It's an important part of the journey. Thank you. You guys can just take a sip of that. God, I thank you for these two. I thank you for the family that they're going to form. I thank you for the potential they're going to pull out of each other, Lord. I thank you. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Are no greater gift than a husband to a wife and a wife to a husband. And so I thank you for this gift that you've given each one of them. And Lord, I pray that they would learn how to show each other grace, that they would learn how to receive grace. Lord, your word says, upon grace, upon grace, that's what you've called us to. And so we are grateful, Lord, that we get to celebrate with these two today. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Right back over there. <laughs> so I would like to pray over them as we wrap things up today. And what I'd like to pray over them is 1 Corinthians 13. So if you would bow your heads and pray along. I pray that your love is patient, that your love is kind, that it does not envy and does not boast, that your love is not proud, that it does not dishonor others, that it is not self-seeking, is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs, that your love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. I pray your love always protects that it always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I pray that your love never fails. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, by the authority of God's word and the covenant you have made here today in front of your family and friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> What's your story? What's your sign? What's up? It's like we're twin flames in a okay. different life. Well, let me be the first to Deep introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Mark. It's Woo! like a movie in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
Shine 